Snowpack, right, in the southwest part of the state is crazy right now? It's insane. As of yesterday, over 300% of normal. Wow. Which puts our statewide number at over 200% of normal. Oof. It's a lot. It's a lot. And they're going to get a couple more inches there. We'll take a look at the mountain snow coming up. Down here, though, our snow is finally melting after yesterday, a good three to six inches. It's going to take a little time to get into the 40s. We'll be there at about 10 o'clock this morning. And when we get into the 50s, any of that snow that's lingering on the grass or on the rooftops, that's all going to melt off this afternoon. So we're looking at highs right around 52 degrees. A little sunshine to start this morning, but also an increase in clouds. And this was a really pretty shot here from City Park, and you can see how the clouds have already started to build. So we'll be in and out of that cloud cover through the morning, and you can see some of the snow there already almost gone. The grass is going to be so green in the trees by the end of this week. Commerce City right now 33, Littleton you're at 36, and in Boulder 35 degrees. It's a cold morning. In fact, we hit a new record low out at the airport when we got down to 30 degrees earlier this morning and now it's gradually starting to warm up. But when you factor in a light wind, it feels like 29 in Greeley, 24 in Aurora and 34 right now in Broomfield. So wear a jacket, a heavy coat this morning. Our mountains are going to pick up a little bit more snow. It's going to be a bit of a mix through the afternoon, a little rain and snow. So I-70 could be wet this afternoon. We're not expecting any heavy additional accumulation out west, but it is going to be light both today and tomorrow. All right, so we're in the 30s this morning we should get to right around 46 degrees here in town and also to the north and Fort Collins by 11 o'clock that'll get us to right around 50 for a high later this afternoon you'll notice though a few more showers developing so the roads could get wet it looks like it's going to be lighter rain likely less than a tenth of an inch but we'll see some rain through uh, the evening into early tomorrow morning there might be a brief time when that switches over to a little snow there along the Palmer Divide and also north a little closer to the Colorado Wyoming border more showers expected tomorrow, so it's going to be another day of some unsettled weather. 6 o'clock uh, tomorrow night, we're in the mid to upper 40s, close to 50 for highs tomorrow, so still really chilly. We're typically low to mid 70s this time of year. Take a look at the Super 7 day. We've seen some really intense weather this past few days, and this is where that risk of severe weather is going to be this afternoon, almost in through the same spot as you look from really northeastern Oklahoma up into Missouri, so we'll be watching for some stronger storms to develop. As we get into the weekend, drier and warmer. In fact, the Rockies are back in town. We have a game Friday night. First pitch is at 640, and we should see some dry conditions, 67 by the start of the game, and then some upper 50s by the end of it. Even warmer from there through the holiday weekend, Sunday mid to upper 70s. Really the only thing Jason will have to look out for will be some late-day thunderstorms both Sunday and Monday. Yeah.